Alright, so what you'll need for this project is a scrap piece of wood. Uh, it's going to be your handle. You're going to need a barbecue uh, igniter. These are pretty cheap. I, think I picked mine up for four bucks at Home Depot. Um, half inch PVC pipe, probably you know three foot length. Um, a Gatorade bottle or a two liter bottle. I don't have the two liter bottle, so I'm just going to work with uh, this, and then a few water bottles. And then what I don't have shown here is hot glue and duct tape. So let's get started. So what you're going to want to do first is with your uh, PVC pipe, you're going to hold it up to your shoulder and uh, imagine, you know, there's a handle here. Um, now what you want to do is you want to find where it's comfortable to rest on your shoulder and to grab on. So for me, it was, uh, oh my goodness gracious. Um, for me, it was... Uh, probably a foot, foot and a half in, somewhere around in there, okay? And also, a tip is you, um, you may want to sand the whole pipe, see how there's no more uh, words or letters or anything on there. And it also makes it real smooth for the bottle to fly off of. So yeah, make your mark, and then we'll cut out the handle. All right, so I just cut out the uh, rough shape on the bandsaw. Uh, I'm gonna trim it down a little bit, and then I'm gonna sand it all around so that way it's comfortable to grip. And you want to leave uh, a little bit of space here for the igniter to go through. So keep that in mind. So you're going to grab on and you're going to pull it. And uh, the igniter is going to stick out the back. Alright, so I got my uh, handle all sanded down. And now what I'm going to do is when I said I was going to drill a hole for this, I will, but it's going to be down more. Um, but what you do, or it, you know, may need to do, is um, hollow this out a little bit. So that way it fits over the PVC pipe where you want your handle to go. Instead of it just being flat, it has a, um, it's curved so that way it grips the, the pipe more. So yeah. Okay, and I found that a 7th uh, seventh inch, seventh, eighth, seven eighths inch Forstner bit sorry, um, was uh, just the perfect size for this. So I'm going to wedge this up and I'm going to drill out that hole just enough to uh, grip the pipe. You don't want it to be too, too much. Okay, so now I got the uh, handle all sanded and stained a little bit, and there's that groove. It, uh, if you look at it, it fits just perfectly over the uh, PVC pipe. So now I'm going to drill a hole to accept this into here, so that way you can pull it like a trigger to shoot. All right, so I have now drilled the hole for the... Uh, igniter okay and it may help before you put it in the hole to wrap um, right in here and back towards the uh, back end in electrical tape or some form of tape just so it's uh, not arcing through the wood or it doesn't you know short out or something um, another thing that you're going to need is a length of wire depending on where you place your handle and how long your wires are to start. Um, this is obviously too long, I'm going to trim it up, but we're going to attach it to the ends of this and out the front. So, Okay, I will be covering uh, how to put the um, the clicker or whatever, the igniter in in a minute, but uh, we're back at the drill press. Now what we're going to do is, if you have a 2 liter bottle, I'll show you what to do later. But if you're using the Gatorade bottle, we're going to drill a 7th inch and 7, 7 eighths inch hole. My goodness, that is killing me today. Right through the center of this, okay? So okay. that's what we're going to do now. So we got our 7th eighths inch hole. We're going to go back inside and glue that up after we put the hole for our wires to go in right through here. And I'm going to be using a 5 seconds inch brad point bit to drill this hole. And it may be easier... Uh, I didn't really think about this, to drill before you put the handle on. Alright, so uh, we have our, our hole drilled, and we have part of a Gatorade bottle with the Gatorade lid and the hole. I just cut it um, right after, right before the divot, you know, going from top to bottom. It's right there. Um, now see, if you were to um, use a 2 liter bottle, what you would do is 
pretend this is a two liter bottle, you would just cut right where it flattens out, okay? And then you'd press it on here. Mm, well, so you press it on, and then you'd glue it. But what we're going to do is we have our Gatorade bottle cap thing, and we're going to press it on, okay? And then using a water bottle as a measuring device, kind of, we're going to put it in till, you know, a couple inches left. So I guess that's kind of too far in. All right. Now you want to slide the Gatorade bottle up as far as it will go and then put a ring of hot glue around this back. All okay. right. So we got our uh, hot glue put on. It's still a little hot because it's hot glue and I just put it on. Uh, but you want to make sure that there's a lot of glue on there. Um, you do not want this to move or come back because it will pop back with the force from the water bottle. So keep that in mind. Okay, so next you're going to attach your igniter, your two wires, to the extension wire. Alright, and I'm just going to wrap some tape around the contacts, so that way it doesn't short okay. out or anything. So now you're going to get your two wires, thread them. Oh shoot. And then you're going to hot glue this into there. Okay, so we got it all hot glued. Now you need to take your wires and thread them through that hole until they come out the end, like so. Done. Just add your cone back. Glue everything up. Okay, so to load it, you're gonna want to get water bottle. Put a tiny bit of hairspray, like that, and then put it on to the end of your thing. And it doesn't always go off. That's it. Alright, to shot take two. Dang it. That was a lot better. Um, sorry about that. There's just a couple things that I did not, or if I forgot to mention in the video. Um, first thing, wrap the wires in tape and put hot glue on them. Just make sure they're very well insulated because what happens is when you're holding it about to fire and you click, sometimes it shorts out to your hand and you just end up getting shocked. Um, second thing, cones can be removed, just unscrewed, get a different Gatorade bottle, screw on a different cone. Uh, like this one I cut notches into so that way it can hold a rocket with fins for stability. Um, next thing, uh, fill the end with hot glue, like a lot of hot glue, um, and then also, because the wires weren't staying where they were supposed to, what I did is I just put two nails into the hot glue, like I just pressed it in, I kind of moved them over, and then I wrapped the wires around and insulated right, like right where it's, uh, connecting with hot glue, so now it just sparks right at the tip. Um, that'll help because whenever the blast comes out, it just blows your wires back and you have to uh, readjust it. Um, also, you really, right up in here, you want to get really smooth, so take it to a really high grit of sandpaper. Um, I highly recommend that. And also, 
whenever I did the loading the rocket thing with the hairspray, what you want to do is you just spray for like two seconds, a full like, like that. You want to do that basically. And then you just blow into it and that will give you a really good uh, mixture. And then, I mean, you can tamper with it depending on what size water bottle you have, but yeah. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.